If you out there agree that social media is too addictive, slap like now, subscribe, leave a comment below. Yes. Share with your friends and tell (laughs) us what you liked the most about what we just said. Hey guys, welcome to Pop This Presents. Tonight we have Echo Smith. Hello. We're here. Hi. What is going on, you guys? We're back. It's been a couple months since we saw you guys last. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess they weren't here. No. Since I saw you last. Yes. But uh, yeah, we're chilling in New York. It's been a great trip so far. Well, you just played um, a new song for us, Lonely yes. Generation. Yes. And that's the name of the upcoming album, right? Yes, that comes out January 10th. You can pre-order it right now. Yeah. But we're so excited to finally have this album coming out. We've been that spending a awesome. lot of time on it. Wow. And do you guys record everything yourselves? I know you have you have like your own record label, right? Yes, we just started that and this will be our first album on that. Ooh. So it's really exciting to have your own label because you get to just have so much fun and you get to have a lot of creative freedom and we just really took our time with this album and really experimented with different sounds and all sorts of songs. And there were a lot of last minute additions to the album actually that includes actually Lonely Generation and a couple other songs that we wrote only a couple months ago. And we were able to just put those on there because that's what we felt super excited about. It felt like it just completed the album even more. So making it was really fun. And yeah, we write all our songs and actually our dad produced it. So we got to do it in our home studio, which yeah, it was awesome. I got to just walk, you know, and wear walk upstairs and wear PJs if I wanted to go sing vocals casually at whatever time I felt inspired. So it was a really cool process that I would love to do again. That's awesome. Um, And for fans of your, uh, your first album, as you know, you guys, have a lot of fans here at Pop This actually who got I know, to see everyone's you perform, so sweet right? here. I know, yeah. that's so nice. Um, should they, what should they expect? How has the sound perhaps changed or evolved or? I think we'll always keep like the root of who Echo Smith is, you know, as like how we play all that. But I do think this record advances our sound and we tried to make something that felt more sophisticated, but also like hit harder and was more interesting to us. And it also just made us excited. There are songs on there just that just feel really, I don't know, stoked you know we were like stoked to record it stoked to produce it stoked just to like play all the instruments yeah. things that feel like you can feel the excitement coming out of the music and i don't know we have a lot of dynamics through the record and we we're just excited about it and excited to play it in front of fans during our tour and all that so january 10th and then yes going right on tour and you guys going around all of the u.s yes so we're starting um with a lot of the major cities and that'll be so fun to finally play these songs in front of real people not just listening in the studio or in the car so that'll be really nice and that's just the first of many tours we'll do for this album but i think it'll be really special because it'll be the first one and the first time that we really incorporate these songs and make a really special set that we're actually already working on so it's going to be a special tour and a lot of fun things will happen there will be a lot of dynamics and different moments in the set that I think will make it a really probably my favorite tour do you know do you have people accompanying you on the tour that you know about yet yes we actually just announced that so we have weathers joining us and they're really awesome which is cool too because they have a song called lonely vampire which is awesome it's such a great uh, one and up. also Jane and Bartels mash is up. coming with us mash up. yes I know that'd be awesome um, so yeah them and Jaden are coming on the road with us and it'll be a great night of music I think people will love everyone on the bill what have been like a couple of your favorite tour moments from the past I mean, we love all the international shows we've gotten to do and we've played shows and we're from like the Philippines to London all these places that growing up we just wish that we'd get to see you now. Like we can say we've played shows in such incredible places. So that's been a really big part of like, you know, what makes this so enjoyable and so fun. You get to travel, you get to see places, maybe always dreamed of or places like New York where we've been to so many times now, but it's still fun every single time. And that's so special. Any favorite city? Ooh, that's oh. so hard. It really just- Our favorite crowd, favorite oh. audience. I you feel like- to play favorites right now. I mean, New York really is such a special crowd a for real. Crowd. And we're not just saying next we're here right now, but it is <laughs> such a fun time. Yeah. Every time we come here, we've played New York so many times that it sort of feels like a second, I don't know, like a second hometown or something. Cause we're from LA, but 
with how much we've played here and we've played so many different venues like we did Webster Hall we've played every every single room we've actually yeah. I think we were the first band to sell out every room um, on different occasions so it was I don't know it just feels like it's kind of home so New York is definitely up there it's top Good three answer. probably yeah, yeah. Philippines sounds cool too. Man. They're Not one of the best crowds. Yeah, I would say they might even be number one. They're so it's excited and make you feel so special and so welcomed. Yeah. But I mean, Japan is a great crowd too. I they're ah, oh, it's so fun. Everybody but your hometown, LA. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got a shout out. Yeah. I gonna, love LA. Really I love LA. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, New LA riots. shows are amazing. But that's kind of. A given. I don't know. I feel like everyone yeah. always loves their hometown. And I know we do. And we're lucky that it's L.A. So that's automatically always a great show, whether it's your hometown or not. But yeah. it is nice because we usually end our tour in L.A. So we get to sleep in our own bed that night and that's get to cool. decompress a little bit. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, so do you guys... I imagine there's going to be some videos coming up and yes. dropping along with this. And is there even like a TV spot that you guys are involved with yeah and we have 12 music videos we lot. did a song or a video for every song i keep almost Dang. saying a song, a song for every video for every video <laughs> i mean technically that's that true works, you know it's that I is technically, technically true. true i was thinking about what if you did a bunch of videos and then wrote songs to the videos that's instead a great of doing, idea that is very interesting it might get hard when you know i have to lip sync to whatever i'm just lip syncing to you nothing you don't have to perform yeah no okay. videos all narrative interesting it's, like, it's yeah. just yeah. a vibe that I is a very that, interesting idea. I yeah, kind of like that. If you want to blow a lot of money and, yeah. and, and like <laughs> for a who knows what song, sure how it's going to come out. Loves wasting money. <laughs> that's super exciting. So yes. wait, when, when did those come out? So the Lonely Generation video is already out. So that's one of 12. And that one's actually a sneak peek into every other video that we did. So every setting okay. you see is from a different video, which is super fun. So speaking of the song, the album, the video, there's definitely like a, a message in the Lonely Generation song i don't i don't know if you guys kind of want to touch on that yeah. um it seems like maybe the isolation of you know the social media world am i am i a little bit you are the, very okay. close you very are very so. on the nose which i'm glad that you're able to pick that up social media can be so complicated and so hard and there's so much pressure and then there's also you know the fact of okay well we need to be on our phones and we work on our phones and we love to connect with our fans in so many different ways so it's important that we do that but we also want to just find a balance of living real life and making sure that I'm not just scrolling for days. <laughs> Cause I think we all can get addicted to our phones and addicted to scrolling. But after you scroll for a while, do you ever really feel better? You know, I feel like I can tend to feel a lot more lonely or not as good about myself. And I think we just have to be a little more intentional with it, but we're just trying to figure it out and find a balance. And I don't think we've found it yet. And this isn't a song that's like, throw your phones away. But I think it's just a matter of opening up the conversation about it and just being more intentional and I don't know, loving on each other in real life too. Cause that's so, so important. But so yeah. if you out there agree, that social media is too addictive. Slap like now, subscribe, leave a comment below. Yes. Share with your friends and <laughs> tell Eat us it. what you liked the most about what we just said in the comments below. I wanna below. know what the best thing Tag all of your was. friends <laughs> and keep watching. And talk about it. <laughs> Scroll our website, popdust.com. You will yes. feel happier. You will feel at the end of the better. Day. You guys have great stuff though. So I, you know, there's great stuff about, about social, social media, media and the internet. I love it. You just have to be smart. Much. We're, we put our lives Just don't spend 24 it. hours on it no, a day. Yeah. Like but sleep. yeah. Like, you, you should oh, sleep a, a little sleep, bit. Eat, talk to human beings. Do you guys get to, to sleep enough on, on tour when you're on the road? How does that work? Ah. Decent at it. Depends on the day. You know, it depends on what we have. I mean, some days we get to get a full night. You know, and it depends on like the bus driver, hours. you know, and you be like, or where like we're driving sometimes oh, depending on like yeah. the time zones and everything. I get yeah. so jet lagged. It's terrible. And I'm <laughs> horrible at adjusting to so I'll be jet lagged to start with and then I'll be like, I'll just take a little nap. And then all of a sudden I sleep Oof. until 2 a.m. You know, if I took a nap at four and I'm like, okay, I'm just totally screwed for this whole trip. Yeah. So I need to learn. If you have any tips, comment on this video. Comment, comment like, below. subscribe and comment below if and you, ask your friends. If you like insomnia, slap like now. <laughs> I feel Is there tired. anything uh, else that you want to share with people or, you know, if you want to tell them? 
to do stuff. How to connect with you guys or to do stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, here's my little spiel. Our album Lonely Generation is coming out January 10th. You can pre-order it now. We're going on tour starting in February, which you can also get tickets to right now, echosmith.com. And our single Lonely Generation is out currently along with the video and stay tuned for more. But we're excited. I think I covered it all, right? Yeah, Video, good. tour, album, up. and yeah, our Life. name. We're Echo Smith. Uh, <laughs> awesome. EchoSmith.com has everything you need. But yeah, we're just excited to finally be in this new era and to actually be putting out this sophomore album. We're so ready. Oh, yeah. We're ready. Well, on that note, uh, thank you, Echo Smith. Slap like now. <laughs> slap like now. Subscribe. Don't slap anyone share. in person, though. Not a person. Slap a virtually. That's totally fine. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you.